really looking forward to everybody coming back and having an outstanding season. You lose three or four kids, and boy, your first reaction is, there's just no way we can do that again. But the guys really responded. They played real well. The three kids that we had back from last year showed a lot of leadership abilities. And I don't know without Jay Smith and Chad McGee and Burris Bond, those three guys that were back from last year's team, they had to really come forward and put forth a lot of extra work and a lot of extra effort. We might have gone all year without winning a ball game. We ended up winning 11 ball games, losing only seven, which was just about the same record we had from the year before. That's a, really says a lot about those three right there. Uh, we had about we had three other kids that came out for the first time, and I, as far as I know, I don't think they've ever played basketball before. But they came out. I didn't know if they lasted a week. They lasted all year. They hung in there. They worked really hard. And without those three guys, we sure couldn't have done what we did. And uh, that's Mike Lewis. Ryan Huff and Jim Todd. Uh, Mike Lewis is one of them. I had a really good story on Mike Lewis. Jim Todd. Ryan Huff.
next not random so <laughs> uh squat act we animate first week all squat act we all made a trip to indianapolis to spend the night let me tell you that was just a once in a lifetime experience i'll go all in if that was next year or not we uh spent the night here on new year's eve and had a little party and that was definitely uh they told me they was going to stay up all night and mine's going to want to leave we all talked out on them about 4 30 or 5 o'clock but uh we had an enjoyable time i hope they learned a lot from me i know uh i learned quite a bit from them believe me some things that uh, i can't say right now but uh, <laughs> we had three seniors and i'm going to introduce them last so i can tell you a little bit more about them first one uh Kerry gamble
starts next year. I've asked several of these boys to go to camp. Uh, some of them are going to play on the summer league here. Uh, if they get a ball in their hand, they can shoot. Some of them need to shoot 200 free throws a day. Some of them need to shoot uh, 200 jump shots a day. They need to have the ball in their hand. They need to dribble. Uh, we have some that are playing on the AAU teams, which will help. Uh, some of the things we accomplished this past year, uh, Ben Boyd, the freshman, made the SWAG team. Ben Boyd, the freshman, made the Sky River team. I asked some of them, coach has been here for a while, they didn't know any freshmen do that. Uh, they didn't know any, not very many solid things. Uh, had honorable mention, Willis Martindale and Chad Talley for Tri River. Uh, Willis Martindale was first on the county, all county team. Chad Talley and Ben Boyd was a guard on the second team, the all county team. Uh, these are things, individuals, you have to work hard. This is not what I give them, this is what the other coaches, the Swy and the Tri River, give them. They work together hard. We get uh, a lot of running in. Uh, I always had one, didn't want to finish the game. So I made him anyhow. And he needs to get out and run this summer. Tells me he's going to play football next fall so that he doesn't have to run. Right, Chad Talley? <laughs> you need to run about uh, five to ten miles a day. Probably the quickest player we had on the floor. The quickest hands. Get out on the floor. Sometimes he didn't make the play because his uh, feet was faster than his hands. Slide down even the goal. Uh, we had uh, Willis Martindale led the county and, and uh, rebound the county and took Salt North Central. He averaged a little over 10 rebounds per game. For this group, that's quite an accomplishment, I think. I told him again here two things that we had to do was rebound. Make free throws. So we accomplished one. We got more rebounds than the other team for the average of the year. Free throws, we still got to work on them. Uh, I think as a team, they've got to shoot about 75 80 percent. We had one player make 70 percent. So as a team, they've got to work on those things. Uh, for the awards, for this. Before I get started though, this uh, Carol Thomas I think made every game. Fred kept Brandon Clock for us every game. Nancy uh, kept books for us every game. And anybody else that uh, kept books when they called out the crowd, I want to thank them. Uh, David Heaton drove the bus, of course. Bill Land drove the bus, we got us the game on time except for one. I still don't know how. My door is still way over there. Didn't know where it was at. Dark. Couldn't find a road. Fan was there before we was there. But we made it. We got one next year about the same way, I think. We had uh, about four or five people keeping stats for us. That's a thankless job. I mean, you draft the freshmen and say, you will do this. Thank you. And they do it. They miss a few. Uh, when they miss a few, uh, Mr. Boyd ran the camera, and I think uh, Cottingham ran the camera for us a few times. I had to go get Mr. Everhart's uh, film a few times when somebody forgot to turn it on. We missed the first quarter, a couple games on our camera. 
surprised how many extra rebounds you picked up. You pick up three or four more assists in the game. Uh, you see people that's doing things out there on the floor that you can't describe that you see over here uh, on the sideline. Field goal percentage, I think I go full.